Greetings everyone, the Good Tonight here, and today we're going to do a fun little review, once again, on something that's really impractical, really just something you don't need, but I have one anyway. Now it works with arc rails, is the first thing we're going to talk about, so clip on your little helmet of old, and today we're going to be looking at the TMC Halo Jump Mask Replica. So, this thing's nifty, it's got two different clips. You got this fancy little one with the pull tab release and you got this other one here with your normal buckle clasp. And this hose attaches to nothing. It's actually just a bunch of fibers stitched together. There's no actual hose that goes through it. It's completely breathable. So you cannot unfortunately plug this into a bottle of beer and enjoy your day. So, but however, you're going to take this. As you can see, you've got your fake little mic mount. You've got your to the dangle, you got your zooming vent for exhalation. Kind of like a gas mask idea before an air tank, because you're supposed to be jumping off a plane, hypothetically, or something like that. Inside looks kind of cool. Looks kind of like a little face hunger for the uh, future upcoming Space core. It says Gentex on here, which um, I'm going to cast doubt that this is authentic Gentex, Gentex, and it says medium narrow down here, so fun sizing information things. Now this thing is, for what you get, it's going to be way too expensive. You really can't justify owning one of these unless you really, really like photo ops, because, I mean, I'll probably stop a 6mm BB from hitting you in the face, but the extra bulk, weight, and discomfort isn't really going to encourage you to use it as much as you could. So I like putting these underneath the little head strap here, because that's just me. And you find the little clip. And the few times you can say the word clip without everyone cringing in rage. There we go, you got that one in there. Yeah, you generally won't have these attached because it's a pain to do so afterwards. And we'll put this on here. It does alter your voice ever so slightly. No real cause for alarm. Get. There we go. And essentially you can just clip this here underneath it. There's a little strappy area. You can feel where it fits over the chin, you could place that up under there. Then you put the hose in your backpack, or something like that, or you have a cool little hair braid. And that's all there really is to it. It sits on your face at a weird angle, because that's just life. I'm sure I could adjust these tabs here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, get nice, tight, uncomfortable on the bridge of the nose. And, uh, yeah, now we are a little bit tactic-cooler. I guess. This camera's a little low. Yeah, as you can see, it fits stupid. It looks stupid. I hate it. Oh my god. It's just literally the worst. But it also creates a massive hot spot on your face. So, it looks cool. But, damn do I hate it. Now, your chin strap's not staying in place either. That's lovely. I feel like it's getting more up under here. No, it's just not going to do it. It's not going to play fit friendly. And uh, yeah, so... Helmet's there, and what you can do is you can go, oh, what a lovely day outside. I just want to get a little bit of a breather, so I'm just going to hit this clip here. Shh, ah, yay. And then you go, oh, I don't want this extra weight on my face anymore. You grab this tab here, you give it a little yank, and boom, you're free. The mask is defeated. And yeah, that's um like 70 bucks. I just Japanese Amazon. I hear they're rare and more expensive in the States. I don't know. That's what they tell me. So, is it worth it? Uh, no. Just pretty much flat out no. I mean, it looks cool. If you want to take some cool pictures, there's that option. But yeah, it's um, it sits on your face. And that's about it. what I do like though. Is you can, if you have the FMA op score, you can take the little tabbies here. You can take your mask, you can get a bit of elastic, or you can pull the elastic off one of these things, which I'm probably going to do, is just snip that, sew it together, glue it, I don't know, figure something out. And oh look, you can tap that in there, and you can do a similar setup. I'd like to go actually get one of those little buckles. I know I could find a, a small one out there somewhere, out in town or something. And yeah, just create a little mask attachment. So this sits here, it's far more breathable, far more comfortable, and then you just have that clip into there, and you can have your emergency release clip there, so you go pachink. No, this one can hang down here. No, it weighs nothing. It can pink freedom. So.
I would probably stick with the lighter weigh nothing thing. It doesn't look as cool, but you know, it's also not gonna heat up your face and be an unpleasant experience all in all, so. Upscore is ultimately the moral of the story. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. There's not a whole lot else. I want 70 some odd dollars and it's kind of eh for the price. So I personally would recommend investing your money elsewhere. And yeah, that's about it. So it's cool looking. I've seen a few pictures actually. Shortly after this one arrived, I started seeing pictures of people on uh, Instagram taking photos of this exact same model. And just being like, oh, look how cool my Halo jump mask looks like. It's like, but you're not going to want to wear it once you're on the ground. I mean, I wouldn't want to. It'd be one of the first things I strip. And like, no one ever takes their gas mask anywhere. Just a thing. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. If you want to get a fun, close little look, it's all gray and black. And these are just kind of like rotationally screwed into here. You could probably take them out if you wanted to. If you want to put in the time and effort. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. So, a mediocre piece for a ton of money. So yeah, save your money, put it elsewhere. Start an investment firm, I don't know, something cool. Cheers everyone, bye.